for today's fun activity all we need is a pair of scissors we need some textures now I'm using textures um, for the whole activity but you can use pencils I'm using textures to make sure that everyone can see exactly what I'm doing and you just need a couple of pieces of paper so one page for the alphabet and however many people are playing that's how many pieces on top of that that you need so I've got two here but I'll just show you how to do one so the first thing that we need to do is actually write the alphabet on a piece of paper now when I was a little girl you we just used to say to the other person start and then they would say the alphabet in their head and then another per the one person would say stop and wherever that person stopped going through the alphabet in their head that was the letter that we would do but this is a more permanent way and this is a fair way and you can also keep a record of what letters you've actually done so I'm going to speed up this part and show you what to do Okay, so we can put our letters aside. Now we need our A4 piece of paper. We're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to fold it one third across and then the other third across. So we kind of need six sections. If you like, you can use a ruler and measure all of those out. But I don't use a ruler because in the end, we're just going to recycle this paper anyway. So we do a line across there and we draw these lines down here. A ruler would make it much neater, but this is just a quick and simple game. So what we have to do is come up with five different groups of um, groups or ideas or lists that we're going to create. When I was little, we always used to use a girl's name. A boy's name, uh, a food, a place, hmm, what can we do for the last one? Maybe we can do, hmm, maybe clothing, clothes. And the last one is the total. Now, I'll go through this game very quickly to explain to you. Okay, so we can pop these letters in a container and maybe somebody or one person can pull out a letter. So, for example, without looking, I pulled out an S. So, as quickly as can be, we have to go across each category and come up with something that starts with the letter that we've pulled out. So S, so a girl's name could be Sarah. A boy's name could be Scott. A food could be spaghetti. A place could be Spain. Clothing could be scarf. And as soon as I finished filling out all of those categories, I shout stop and the whole game has to stop. The way it's scored, the way we get our total, every word that you have that is different to everyone else's, you get 10 points. Every word that you have in each category that somebody else has, you get five points. So say for example, Sarah, Somebody else got Sarah, so that gives me five points. Scott, no one has Scott, so I get 10. 
Spaghetti, everyone had, so I get five points. Spain, no one had, I get 10. And Scarf, no one else had, I get 10. And all that we do is add up all the points as we go across. So we've got 10, 20, 30, and then we've got two fives. So that makes 40 points altogether. Now you can play this game 10 times. You can go through the whole alphabet if you like. The length of the game is totally up to you. How long you want to do it is up to you. You can, as I said, write the letters out like this. You could actually laminate them if you wanted to keep it really well and keep it for a long time. Or you can just do it how I used to do when I was a little girl and one person says to another person, start and then stop and then they come up with the letter. So there's many different ways that you can play this game, but it's a great game to play because all you need is a pen or a couple of pencils, or in this case, textures, and a few pieces of paper and some quick thinking thoughts. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you give this game a try. It was a very popular game when I was little, and it's been a very popular game with my kids as well. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya.